552, welcome back. Renew movies for you this weekend. We've got several good ones opening up today, especially if you're a fan of Marvel movies. Eternals is unlike most Marvel movies that you may have seen. It's less blatantly cartoonish, more dimensional, and mostly so much more diverse than most movies of any kind. Credit the newly named Academy Award-winning Director of the Year, Chloe Zhao of Nomadland fame, for wrangling a cast that features women of all colors and ethnic backgrounds in the most primary roles in the film. It also features the big screen's first gay and first deaf superheroes, something that doesn't define these characters nor the plot, they just are what they are. It's all set in the time frame following the events of Avengers Endgame. We follow and learn about the Eternals, a group of ancient aliens who morph into a dysfunctional family, sent to Earth thousands of years ago to protect the planet, now forced to reunite to fight creatures known as the Deviants, launching the inevitable battle to end all battles. While this is a big Marvel movie, this one doesn't drown you in its bigness. It's there, but the strength of it all are the personal stories behind each of the characters that draw you into caring. It's a much more refreshing Dean's List B+, and is now in theaters. Your Royal Highness. Mommy. <laughs> Family are all gathered in the drawing room. They are waiting. Also this weekend is the latest telling of the story of one of the world's most captivating people, even 24 years after her death. In Spencer, former Twilight star Kristen Stewart is uncanny, taking on the role of the former Princess of Wales. Set over the Christmas weekend of 1991, we see moments of joy, but also the events leading up to the separation of Diana from Prince Charles and the turmoil within the royal family. It's a career-topping performance with Stewart perfectly balancing the terrific highs and tragic lows of Diana's complex life. It's a Dean's List B plus in select theaters. And finally, earlier in the week, I gave the new Tom Hanks survival story a Dean's List A. Finch is a touching story of one man's survival in a post-worldwide catastrophe story exclusively on Apple TV+. And as if this touching film wasn't interesting enough, take notice of Hanks' robot buddy in the film. Before all of the special effects, it was actor Caleb Landry Jones in a special motion capture suit that transfers what the camera sees into a computer so they can turn the man into a robot with Hanks being able to react perfectly. It's similar to what Andy Serkis did in Lord of the Rings and Planet of the Apes and it's similarly amazing here. See Finch on Apple TV Plus. You can do anything with special effects now. You can always get my Friday movie review sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago, presenting Mozart's The Magic Flute, now through November 27th. Get tickets at lyricopera.org.